You ready? Ready. Thank you. Good. I'd like to welcome everyone to the May 22nd, 2017 meeting of the Delaware County Board of Commissioners. And if everyone would join me in the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, I'm Jeff Denton, President of the Board. To my left is Gary Merrill, our Vice President. To my right is fellow Commissioner Barb Lewis and Farzana Ahmed, our uh, County Administrator. And today's clerk is Jennifer Walbert. So let's start. Resolution number 17-533 in the matter of approving the electronic record of proceedings for a regular meeting held May 18th, 2017. So moved. Second. Discussion? Vote. Vote on motion 17-533. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. We do not have public comment or elected official comment today. That brings us to item number four, resolution number 17-534, in the matter of approving purchase orders, then and now certificates and payments of warrants in batch number CMAPR 0519, memo transfers in batch number MTA 0519. One nine and procurement card payments in batch number PC APR zero five one nine. So moved. Second. Discussion. Vote. Vote on motion one seven dash five three four. Mrs. Lewis. Aye. Mr. Merrill. Aye. Mr. Benton. Aye. Resolution number 17-535 in the matter of approving travel expense request. So moved. Second. Discussion. Vote. Vote on motion 17-535. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 17-536 in the matter of approving an intergovernmental agreement between the Delaware County Sheriff, the Delaware County Board of Commissioners, and the City of Delaware. So moved. Second. Discussion? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we might, Sergeant Randy Pulitz, Sheriff's Office, with the drug test. Office. We might have a few comments. Uh, Patty told me what to say, and uh, I, I forgot already. What's that? <laughs> she probably wrote down for what she was Which one? The, the first one is uh, an agreement that's uh, between the Sheriff's Office and the the city of Delaware, which will allow uh, city officers or their detectives to borrow task force vehicles if they're available. All right, vote. Vote on mission 17-536, Mr. Merrill. Aye. Mr. Benton. Aye. Mrs. Lewis. Aye. Resolution number 17-537, a resolution of necessity for the purchase of one automobile for use of Delaware County Sheriff's Office for its employees. So moved. Second. Discussion. That was a reappropriation of uh, our existing grant funds that uh, expire in July. Um, so the reappropriation uh, would allow us to purchase a new vehicle or a new used vehicle. Is this a replacement? Uh, no, this it's not a replacement. Vehicle. It'll it'll be a new purchase of a vehicle to add to the fleet. Um, you know, we'll, we're going to expand as well in the future with uh, with more detectives. So okay. All right. Vote. Vote on motion one seven dash five three seven. Mrs. Lewis. Aye. Mr. Benton. Aye. Mr. Merrill. Aye. Resolution number 17-538, in the matter of approving transfer of appropriations for the Sheriff's Office. So moved. Second. Discussion. Uh, same as number seven. <laughs> All right. Related that's to the, that. That's the reappropriation of the funds. Moving them around the, the right Yes, category. we moved them around out of various locations to uh, free up money to purchase a vehicle. Okay. All right. Boop. Vote on motion 17-538. Mr. Benton. Aye. Mr. Merrill. Aye. Mrs. Lewis. Aye. That was it. That's it. Thanks, Randy. Unless you want to keep, you. keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can try it. <laughs> Resolution number 17-539, in the matter of authorizing the submitting of an application for the Victims of Crime and State Victims Assistance Grant for Victim Services. So moved. Second. Discussion. Uh, Nicole Ford with the Delaware County Prosecutor's Office. Randy Paul might be a little more interesting than this, but <laughs> um, the Victim Services Unit in the Delaware County Prosecutor's Office would like permission to apply for the renewal of our Victims of Crime Act and State Victims Assistant Act grants. The grant period extends October 1st of 2017 through September 30th of 2018. 
We currently have our victim's director, Trish Wright, victim's assistant, Megan Powell, and our civil protection order specialist, Penny Bennett, paid from this grant. In addition to these positions, we are requesting partial funding for our PIO, Julie Datco, for the upcoming grant period. All of these positions are extremely vital to our victim services unit. They continue to support victims of crime as well as uphold the law by statute. We are requesting federal VOCA funds in the amount of $230,276.33, which includes a local match by the commissioners of $46,055.27. We are requesting $2,106 in state SVAA funds, which requires no local match. We would have the opportunity to renew these grants in 2018. And these have been in place for a number of years, these Correct. grants? Correct, yes. And you feel but, comfortable you'll get them again? I do feel comfortable that we will get them again. I'm not um, sure about the amount, um, just because we are adding the position, the additional position in, um, but we are requesting. They have told us to request additional funding, so oh, good. Um, because they continue to get more federal funds for this, these, this grant. So this is how we are requesting more funds for this. And these were budgeted, these grants? And they the, were. And the match. Okay. Correct. All right. Nothing. Vote. Vote on motion 17-539. Mr. Mill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Resolution number 17-540 in the matter of approving the agreement and the First Amendment filed between the Board of Delaware County Commissioners, the Delaware County Prosecuting Attorney, and West, a Thompson Letters business for the West Order Form for Clear Services. So moved. Second. Discussion. Good morning. The Delaware County Prosecutor's Office would let um, contract with West Clear has expired and we are requesting to, the approval to proceed into a 36-month contract. Oh. Uh, is this the firm you've been using? Correct, yes. Okay. For our investigator, it's, it's for Round one check. individual person, um, for them to do background checks, um, locate people, that kind of thing. Okay. All right. Vote. Vote on mission 17 540. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Thank you, Commissioners. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Call. That brings us to administrator reports. Good morning. Yeah. And uh, Randy Paul is a very interesting man. He actually gave me a really nice tour a couple of weeks ago for which I wanted oh, to well, thank we're you. We're yeah. One day for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he told me to go undercover with them one day. I might try that. A um, couple of quick things. I, I, I have a report here from our code compliance department. Our uh, the residential permits in the county went up 23% from last year. Commercial permits are down 13%, but that's because last year, this time, we were dealing with the Anger. Tanger Outlet Mall. So, so really, they're not down. They're up, but they're down compared to the fact that we had this huge mm. influx of commercial permits. Uh, um, the employees in uh, Delaware County EMS like to put on an annual banquet. It's, it's done by the employees, and uh, they like to recognize uh, people within the department and outside the department, such as Rookie of the Year and... Teacher of the Year and things like that, you know, people that they feel have done outstanding work. And um, they invited me to it, and I was able to, I was out of town, but went straight from the airport to the banquet. Uh, it was a good time, so I wanted to um, give a shout-out to the employees of EMS. They are the ones who put it together, not Mike Schuling. He just showed up to eat. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but, no, he did a good job, too. Um, but, but it was nice, and um, congratulations to all the people who were recognized by their peers. So just wanted to mention that. Thank you. Okay. Commissioner Mayor? I only have one thing. I was privileged to attend the Armed Forces Day luncheon Friday at uh, Villa Milano and an opportunity to uh, acknowledge those who serve us, serve, provide service to our great country and, uh, and protect us. And uh, I'm privileged to be there. <coughs> a big crowd, good crowd. And, uh, and that's all I have today. Well, I have a request from uh, Cassie Neff, who's the program coordinator for the uh, sheriff's office. And the sheriff's office and Steve Hedge from um, our uh, Mental Health Recovery Services Board are 
uh, going to apply for a grant, and that application, grant application, seeks funding to expand projects that will reduce the significant number of individuals incarcerated in correctional facilities with serious mental illness and or substance abuse disorders. Uh, and she said, sounds sound familiar? <laughs> and yeah, just what we've been working on. So I would like a letter of support from the board. I'm not sure if we need, we have to, I guess uh, we have to have it to them by May 25th. Do we need a resolution? If all three of you are going to sign the same letter, yes, you need yeah. a resolution. Uh, is that, is that the state reimbursement? Uh, this is, is that... actually, let me see here. What is it? The application? That's where the state was underfunding the release of some of these people. That, that oh. It may be completely separate. Uh, it's Ohio Mental Health I think they're different. Systems. You think these are two different things? Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I think it is. I think, I think that's different. Yeah. Yeah. So. Do you have a sample letter? She did provide a sample letter. Yes. We can get it. Is we can, yeah. Or if the board is willing, while you're in executive session, I can prepare the you, you forward your email. Okay. That and way. then we could do. Yeah. That I. That'd be great. Okay. Great. Okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, take take a look at it. Take a look at the whole email. She had suggested that we mention our involvement in stepping up. But anyway, yeah, it's on the second. Thursday is fine, too, if that meets your deadline. But right. Um, but I think we can probably do it today with your help. Oh, that would be great. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Thank you. That's all. Okay. Um, the Arts Festival was this weekend, and I understand on, I didn't make it, but I understand on Saturday it was very crowded. I'm not sure about Sunday with all the rain. Oh, gee. It, it, yeah. Anybody go on Sunday? Oh, Saturday? I got Oh. She ain't supported me. Oh, it wasn't bad? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Good. You guys go? Earlier with Sean? Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, that's a great weekend for Delaware, and, and uh, uh, it's just, you know, thousands and thousands of people come, and they had, they had a really good oh, number of booths this year. It was, it was very well attended. Um, the Pakistan-India delegation is, is, has tomorrow. been rescheduled for tomorrow? The day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, Wednesday. Okay, that's what I thought. So that's always interesting to meet with folks from other countries. Um, CCAO and others are working on the managed care uh, organization sales tax issue. It's still uncertain which direction it's going to go, but I think we're trying to make raise awareness and of the need to replace that funding source um, for all the counties. And I know there's a meeting at the a hearing at the state house tomorrow. Um, we're going to try to try to go to that to show our support um, with uh, the Senate. So anyway, that's all I've got. We've got need for executive session. We do. Resolution number 17-541, in the matter of adjourning into executive session to consider the purchase of property for public purposes and for pending or imminent litigation. So moved. Second. Discussion? Vote. Vote on motion 17-541. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. We're in executive session. Are they here? <laughs> <laughs>